Today we're gonna make shrimp. I've never cooked or grilled shrimp before. I don't cook in general. I found this one maybe trusty article about how to do this. Seems pretty simple. Seems like just seasoning. So hopefully this works out. While I make a shrimp, we can talk about business. It's leaking and it, the oil just got all over my hands. Okay, <laughs> we're off to a good start. I should probably look at the instructions since I printed them, right? Preheat an indoor grill pan or outdoor grill to high. Okay. Awesome. Hi. Okay, we've done the first step. So I was thinking while I was preparing for this video, business is a lot like cooking, right? Because with cooking, you kind of have to prepare and practice makes perfect, right? Like you have to practice in order to get good. And you got to prepare in order for the results to be good, right? Like you got to plan. It's kind of like business, like you got to plan what you want to do before doing the business or it's just gonna be a ball of maybe cooked shrimp with a bunch of seasonings that may or may not turn out good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's my business right now. I look up to McDonald's and I feel like a lot of people who do businesses do because it just makes sense, right? I want to be like McDonald's. They were so, I can't remember the name of the dude who started it, but he paid so much attention to detail and he knew what he was doing. He knew what I, what he wanted, right? Same with the cook. He knows what he's doing. And the detail is what makes it taste good. Imagine owning a business and it becomes as successful as McDonald's, like, or just having a business and it's successful in general. Like, imagine that. Okay, we need to actually cook this. Okay, we got like four of them. Um, it does not give measurements for the seasoning. So we're just gonna eyeball it and hope for the best. First on the list, garlic powder. It's the big one. That's a big container. No one needs that much seasoning. I feel like this, this amount of seasoning could last me like 10 years. Not even, probably like 30. The smell of garlic is really nice. That's how you know I'm not a vampire. Garlic. I'm telling you. I swear there are vampires out there. We just don't know. Are there? Are there not? We don't know. Will your business succeed? Will it not? We don't know. But if you prepare, there's a good chance there is, you know? You need the salt. I'm gonna be really low on the salt because I'm really scared it's gonna be too salty. So, that's good. <laughs> and Italian seasoning. Where I live, everyone here is either Polish or Italian, and I'm neither of those, and I feel so out of the ordinary. That's good. <laughs> oh my goodness. And cayenne. Oh my gosh, cayenne. Cayenne pepper. My uncle is addicted to this. <laughs> he puts cayenne pepper on everything. Let's put a lot. We want these, we want this shrimp to be spicy, okay? We love the spice. Can you guys see the seasoning coming out? Because I can't see it on the camera. Okay. Drizzle in the olive oil and lemon juice. Um. Yeah, I need olive oil. I forgot about that. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, guys. I found this really fancy olive oil bottle. It looks like some kind of alcoholic beverage. I'm not even lying. Well, you obviously see it. Doesn't that look like an alcoholic beverage? I'm just trying to make sure that it's actually olive oil. Should I do that thing where it's like... I'm gonna put a really small amount because I'm trying to stay away from the oil, you know? You feel me? So like one tablespoon is 120 calories. That is insane. So I'm gonna do a little bit. That's good. That was maybe like half a tablespoon. That is very fancy, oh my goodness. Okay, next. And lemon juice. I could not find like normal lemon juice, but 
I found lemons. So we're gonna use only one of them because they're my mom's. Okay, now I'm feeling motivational. So if you... <laughs> that squeezed onto the pan. Did you hear that sizzle? Oh, the seeds went in. This is just for me, so I don't mind my own fingers. Anyways, yeah, I'm feeling motivational. So if y'all have a business, you got this. Don't even quit because you have no, the seed fell. You have no idea what will come of your business. Never quit, just do it. You know, you feel me? That's the vibe today, just do it. Okay y'all, there really isn't much at all. Like there's, it's barely like, that's, <laughs> that's what I have. Do you think I need more? Um, cause dang, I'm gonna add some more seasonings cause there's a lot of oil. Life is all about taking risks, right? All the good entrepreneurs take the biggest risks. Yo, I wonder how many businesses Elon Musk has gone through before Tesla. Like, does anyone know? Is that like online? Like, what is Elon Musk's life? You know, like, I, I'm very curious. There needs to be like some kind of bibliography about it. Okay, we have the tiny amount of seasoning paste. Yeah. Anyway, add the shrimp and toss to coat. I feel like we could have just added the shrimp first because then we knew how much we need, like how much seasoning, which is probably why there wasn't measurements in the first place. So, okay. It's all making sense. I got this trusty shrimp from Walmart. Hashtag not sponsored. It kind of warmed a little, it's a little defrosted because uh, the car was really hot. Today's like 90 degrees and yeah. Woo! Um, serving size, three ounces, about 25 shrimp. Okay, that's about 25. 50 calories for 25? Dude. Okay, that's good. Yeah, left. 50 shrimp. I'm hungry. <gasps> the poor little shrimp died. They won't believe where they came up. They came up on a 16 year old girl's YouTube video. That's a good life story. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know if this is enough. I don't know. It's actually, it's not looking bad. It's not looking bad. I feel like I'm making a potion. For those who, of y'all who cook on the daily like this, I have mad respect for y'all. Okay. I think that's good. It's definitely covered in oil because it's shiny. I know this isn't like the hardest recipe because it's literally just grilled shrimp with seasonings, but I don't cook ever, so. And this is supposed to be a video about me talking about business, but I feel like I'm talking more about the shrimp. All right, so now we just gotta grill it. While we grill it, what should we talk about? Y'all like my mom. So, just a heads up, my mom will be in uh, future videos that are coming up fairly soon. Um, That was awesome. So stay tuned for me and my mom making fools of ourselves. It's not sizzling anymore. That's kind of disappointing. Does that mean there's too much oil? Did I put too much oil thinking I didn't put a lot? Okay, something is wrong. I feel like I should be sizzling. I've cooked hamburgers and stuff before and it just sizzles. Anyway, 
School is getting more and more boring because I'm taking two AP classes because I, I was so sure I was going to college at the beginning of the year. And it was really difficult at first because there was like all this homework and all this stuff that I just didn't even need because it was all for the AP test that I'm not even taking anymore. But now that the AP tests have happened, the classes are literally so chill. Not even just the AP classes, all the teachers have become so slack. I'm not saying they've been lazy. I'm not saying they've been slacking, but none of us care anymore. <laughs> Every class I've been in, they're like, oh yeah, here's what we do. And it's super easy, super chill. And then we go outside for the rest of class. Each class is like an hour and a half long. So it's pretty chill. I've been getting a tan because it's been like hot outside, which finally, right? There is a lot of liquid. It's very concerning. I'll show y'all. Do you see how much liquid there is? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is that like from the shrimp or is that the vegetable oil because i also sprayed the pan with vegetable oil and then i marinated the shrimp in vegetable oil i think i overdid it uh i'm just gonna let it sit there i guess let's talk about self-driving cars right what uh, i would never ever trust a self-driving car like i i want control over my death you know like what if a self-driving car just like didn't do the right thing or it malfunctioned and now you're dead like it's too crazy for me and i feel like self-driving cars would like bring the world to another level of laziness and we're already so lazy we gotta do something we gotta drive right i get the situation you know the whole lifeboat thing and the whole thing about like the trolley effect i think it's called the trolley effect where like the trolley is going down this road, right? And it's gonna split in two ways and the trolley can't stop. So on the first track, there's like one person and on the second track, there's like five people and you have to decide which one, which people you should crash into. But here's the catch, the five people you don't know and the one person you do know. And it's this whole argument and it's so, it's very, very interesting, but that like connects to self-driving cars like how are we supposed to program the self-driving cars if it were in that kind of situation you know like if there was a person on the road and there was like a pole right next to you would you, would the self-driving car crash into the pole or go around the person or stop or crash into the person like there's just too much human reaction that needs to be involved with driving that i just i don't think self-driving cars would be good for this life right now like <laughs> we are too technologically advanced we are going into a sci-fi universe where the robots are going to take over the self-driving cars are going to kill us all we are going to go extinct and the robots are going to become the new human i swear or the vampires are going to come get your garlic ready those vampires man okay i think the shrimp is cooking <laughs> it's definitely sizzling you see that oh my goodness self-driving cars i don't know the technology is just getting too good at this point like it's, it's all fun and games until they take over you know like geez i'm gonna try to flip them i don't know what i'm doing oh yeah they're cooking guys they're cooking science i almost took this cooking science class cooking it was called cooking chemistry last year but there wasn't enough people that signed up so we couldn't use science with cooking. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I couldn't do this with baking though. Cause baking is so much more precise, right? Like it's an actual science. Cooking, it's like, you just grill it. I bet a professional chef would be like, uh, no, Gordon Ramsay is gonna come for me. <laughs> but you know how in the movies, especially those Disney movies or those feel good movies, the parents always make the most amazing meals. It looks so delicious. And then the kid is like busy and just leaves the food and doesn't even take a bite. Like what the heck? Um, okay, can we be friends so I can have that food? Like we can, okay. Excuse me, that was delicious food right there on your plate. That gets me so upset. Wasted food is very upsetting. I know you would get sick if you ate. Well, what kind of sickness would you get if you ate seafood raw? Like if I were to eat shrimp raw, 
what would happen? Because with meats, right, like hamburger, you would get salmonella. But what's the thing with shrimp or fish in general? Wait, you can't eat raw fish. Like, duh, sushi. <laughs> Let's pretend I did not just say like duh. We are gonna ignore that back there. I think it's good. I'm kind of scared I'm gonna get sick though because I did not do enough research and I barely ever eat seafood. We're good. I also wanna like put some eggs in it. You know how in hibachi, like they get the little mini shrimp like I have now and they get like the eggs and the rice. Oh my gosh, bomb, so good. I love hibachi. I miss hibachi. Hibachi is the best ever. It's so fun. If you've never been to hibachi, go to hibachi. And oh my gosh, that would be such a good business idea. Like opening a hibachi restaurant. Dude, I feel like that's just guaranteed for success. I don't know. I don't know about you. I don't know. But yeah. You get hibachi on the dessert menu, put mochi because, oh my gosh, mo mochi is also fire. Best dessert ever. You know, strawberry mochi is so good. Green tea mochi is good too, but strawberry just hits, you know, it's different. What's your guys' favorite flavor, like of anything? Like your favorite flavor in general? Like if you were to try something new and you had to choose a flavor, which flavor would you choose, you know? Mine personally is strawberry. I love strawberry. Or lemon, depending on if it's sour or not, because sweet lemon is like, okay, but sour lemon? Uh-huh. Okay, I think I burnt the pan, so I'm gonna spend the next hour scraping it. That probably means I didn't put enough oil, which is, okay. <laughs> put it on our trusty paper plate. Oh, this pan is heavy, dude. This is heavy. Okay, that looks cooked. Okay, now we are gonna turn it back on and cook an egg. <laughs> I have cooked eggs before. Like, eggs in the morning are bomb. Everything is bomb today. Yes, I don't even think this is the right pan to cook eggs on, but since it's out here, I'ma just do it, right? Cause convenience. Hmm. I've really been counting my calories lately, which is why I'm so like, oh my gosh. Cause prom is coming up. <gasps> That's another good business idea. Something to do with prom, you know? Like maybe not prom dresses or like suits or something. Like that would still be good, but that's that's like very seasonal. This does not look right, oh my. Something like, I don't know. You gotta be creative, but I feel like there is definitely an open window to being creative with the like prom industry where like every teen would want to get that for prom and then boom, you got money. Like, I don't know what that could be though. Like imagine starting something so cool and it becomes such a trend and it's so unique and creative that everyone just starts using it, you know? Like the fidget spinner. I don't think that was like unique first idea because obviously there are other fidgets, but. Imagine owning a floral shop, that would be so cute. That kind of stuff seems hard to me though. Like that kind of business seems like a lot of work. Business in general is obviously a lot of work, but I don't know. Okay, but imagine opening up an amusement park. That seems good too. There are amusement parks, but there aren't very many, I feel like, you know? Maybe I'm just wrong and I need to do more research on that, but it seems to me like it would be cool. Obviously it would be a heck of a lot of money to open one, but once it got going and people started going in the summer and everything, or it was an indoor amusement park like Circus Circus in Las Vegas, that needs to become more of a thing. Like indoor amusement parks, I feel like there is such a huge market in that. Oh. I just dropped some. There we go. Now we got shrimp and eggs. Like hibachi. Now we won't be that cool. 
Do you guys got any good business ideas? Cause in my mind it's like running everywhere. Imagine creating a whole new seasoning and it's like really good. That would be so cool. I feel like that could do so well if you know how to market right, you know? I feel like anything could go well, well if you knew how to market it right, right? Cause like, you know that whole pen thing, like in that movie where it's like, sell me this pen and the dude did really well because he was like, you need this pen because of this instead of saying like, this pen has all these features. It's all about the marketing. We gotta invest in marketing courses. That's what, that's what I need to do at least, cause I took a marketing class last year in high school and it was pretty awesome. But I had two teachers in that class because one of them I really liked, but then she moved to Florida in the middle of the year, like right before COVID happened. So lucky to her. And then I got this other teacher and he's really cool, but he wasn't as cool as, as the other, as the first one. Cause the first one was very chill. And the second one would call on me when I didn't want to be called on. And I, as a very, anxious person don't want to be called on, you know? Anyways, <laughs> that's why I didn't take the second year of marketing, but I should have because it's kind of important. So yeah, so here's the food. It looks very plain. I feel like I just cooked the heck out of it and cooked all the seasonings out, but that's okay because I am going to put pepper on it. <laughs> just make sure it's not the salt, am I right? Yeah, that's good. Perfect. I'm not picky, so this is fine. If you know how to cook and you have advice for me, please let me know, cause I would love to advance my cooking skills. Um, if you're doing a business, I hope it's going well and invest in marketing and yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's try it first. It's probably too hot and I'm gonna burn my mouth. Tastes like shrimp. I don't think, ooh. It's good. To another person though, it probably would taste plain. This good. I did it. I didn't mess it up. That's all I care about. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video of me cooking things and talking about business. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button. And by the way, <laughs> Speaking of business, um, I have this clothing business called OCAP.com. OCAP is a very cute in vogue clothing store that the website is not out yet, but if you click the link down below, you'll be the first to the gold and you'll get a bunch of discounts that no one else will get. Okay, I'm planning on giving everyone who joins that link a discount right at the beginning, like right when it opens, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Yeah. <laughs> I will see y'all next time.